hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this firefox logo animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. As always, we will call this as main animation. Width is 1920, height 180, frame rate is 30, and duration is 10 seconds. And background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit down title safe action. Then press Ctrl I on your keyboard to select your logo. I have this logo over here, which is a PNG format. So I'll simply import this logo over here and bring back in our main animation comp then press s and scale it at appropriate sites somewhere around let's say 25 sorry 25 and yeah this looks good to me now select our ellipse i don't want any strokes so i'll delete the strokes and choose fill and for the fill we are going to choose linear gradient and hit ok then click on this linear gradient i have selected this colors now click over here and with the help of the speaker I'll choose this color first and select this one with the help of the speaker I'll choose this color and simply hit OK and by holding shift I'm going to create one ellipse like that then press ctrl alt sorry press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now after doing that select your selection tool and select this ellipse like select this ellipse so we will if you see over here we will get this two anchor points which is our gradient control so i'll move this one over here and this one over here just to match with this thing like that okay now we will select this we will hit ctrl d to duplicate it and in fill i'm going to choose solid color and hit ok and hit ok and in the fill i'm going to select this color and hit ok then press S for scaling option, scale it somewhere around like this. Press V for selection tool and by holding shift, I am going to move this over here. Let's make this fit. And now let's hide this logo for now. We will focus on that later like that. Now let's hide this one also. Now we will focus on this one. So press P for position. I'm going to create one keyframe over here. Go to around 20 frames and again create another keyframe. Go to the start and let's move this over here now after that let's create another keyframe and in middle of that let's move this over here go few frame forwards create another keyframe and in middle of that let's move this a little bit upwards so if we hit play we will get this kind of bounciness now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph then select this graph and by holding shift let's move this over here so ball will come down slowly and you when it will come near to the ground we need a fast velocity so i'll select this one and let's move this over here after a bounciness it should go faster so i'll select this graph by holding shift let's move this over here and this one over here move this graph over here select this and move this one over here like that and let's zoom in a little bit with the help of plus select this one by holding shift move this one over here and, sorry and move this one over here like that this graph over here and this graph over here so now if we hit play we will get something like this now after that let's enable this one and i'll move to the 10 frames and let's move this over here press p for position and i'm going to create another keyframe or instead of that what you can do you can select those keyframes hit ctrl c select those keyframe uh, i mean this layer and hit ctrl v so we'll get something like this so as you can see at this point it's gonna touch over here so now what i'll do i'll, I'll right click and i'll create one null object like that i'll select the shape layer i'll make it apparent with this null one i'll select this null one press p and let's move this over here so we will get something like this yep and at this point i want the position of this one downwards so i'll select all of them 
and then i'll move this position somewhere around over here like that so now if i see this animation i'll get something like this as simple as that let's move those keyframes a little bit forward like this so let's see how does it looks it looks good to me and if you want you can increase the duration of this comb backwards and you can move this keyframes over here like that so it will come down a little bit slowly yep this looks good to me let's move this at this point it should be a little bit downwards yeah after that we don't need that null object so let's delete that press f4 select the both of the what we call shape layers and make sure to enable this what we call motion blur options so we'll get something like this now right click new and i'm going to create one null object and it should be at the center now select this shape layer which is this one and make it parent with this null object now select this null object press r for rotation i'm going to create at two seconds or let's say at this point only i'm going to create one keyframe over here and i'll go to around five seconds and let's make this three rotations now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift let's move this over here and move this one over here so we will get something like this now i'll select this one and by holding shift i'll select this one press ctrl shift c let's make it a pre comp and we'll call it as shape and hit ok now after that i'm going to select the shape layer and then go to the effect and presets panel and search for eco effect and simply double click instead of add i'm going to choose maximum number of echoes let's choose 30 and time echo i'm going to decrease this three so cancel it and let's make it zero and hit ok let's see what we will get and make sure that you are in quarter resolution like that you get something like this now after that what we will go we will go to around two seconds and i'll press ctrl shift d then i'm going to select the second layer and i don't want eco for this one so i'll delete it so we will get this kind of stuff now at this point what i'll do i'll select my firefox logo i'll enable that like this and then i'm going to select my shape or what we call ellipse and let's delete this fill hit ok and stroke i'm going to choose white color and hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse stroke width let's choose 20 for now select this logo press i'm not logo but shape layer press ctrl alt home go to the align tab sorry align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and increase the stroke width somewhere around like this until it's gonna cover my logo like that now from this point i want them to animate so i'll move this over here like this let's hide these things for now because we want to see where our logo so increase the stroke width to so our entire cover logo is covered now go to the add menu and choose stream path go to the trim path and let's make this zero create one keyframe hit to select this firefox logo press f4 and choose infra inverted mat or let's say alpha mat and move this logo over here now select this logo go to the trim path content trim path and create one key we have already created one keyframe over here now enable all of them now as it completes the circle we need to make this 100 like this so if you see now we will get this reveal of that logo like that and we will select the shape layer press s for skin option create one keyframe over here and at this point let's make it zero like this select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this over here like this and uh, let's go inside the shape select the shape layer press s for scaling option create one keyframe hit u and select this null object hit u and at this point i want the scale of this one should be zero like this so let's see our whole animation now 
we'll get something like this now at this point i'm going to create number of echo should be zero create one keyframe hit u go few frame forwards and now let's make it 30. so it will avoid the glitch of that like this so as you can see this is just a simple logo reveal now i'm going to select the shape layer right click uh, let's go to the reveal and we'll reveal their source project select the shape layer like that and hit ctrl d now select the shape layer hit ctrl d over here also now select the shape 2 uh, i mean the second shape and this shape 2 by holding alt i'll bring this on the shape 2 sorry double click on it to open that go over here and as you can see the scale is 30 and not 30 but 63 i'm going to select all the scaling keyframes and i'll reduce the size of this one like that and i'm going to move this over here like this go inside that select the shape layer and in the fill i'm going to choose a darker version of orange like this yeah so if you see now we'll get something like this now select the shape layer hit ctrl d select the shape layer hit ctrl d and bring this at the top now by holding alt we will bring this on the shape layer to double click on it select this go over here select all the scaling keyframes and let's decrease the size up to 20 and we will get something like this and now we will move this over here and press s for scaling option and scale it like that go to the shape layer we'll go to the fill and we'll choose again darker version of it like red or something like this let's move this over here now we will select the shape layer we will hit ctrl d we will move this over here select the shape 3 hit ctrl d by holding alt i'll drag this over here double click on it select the shape layer and choose white color so now we will get some addition of white portion press s scale it over here go inside the shape layer select this layer select the scalings and let's bring this to 4 So we will get something like that go inside this at this point it should be zero not anything else also over here at the end it should be zero also here at the end it should be zero so now if we see this animation we will get something like this shape 3 at the end yeah it's zero so as you can see with the help of simple technique you can create this kind of logo animation now hit ctrl a to select all of them press ctrl shift c to pre-comp it and let's call this as logo animation and hit ok and go over here press s create one keyframe and let's make it 120 or 110 And let's make it 100 so if you see this animation now we will get something like this then press n press ctrl y to create one solid white background and hit ok and bring this downwards and lock this layer select this hit ctrl d press or you can I think we don't need to do anything like that this looks good to me so let's make this full resolution and now your animation is completed so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned